A fossil found in New Brunswick is offering a window into a world millions of years ago. The appearance, something Dr. Seuss might have dreamed up. And it's putting the spotlight on a Canadian quarry. CTV Sarah Plowman explains. Behold the fossil that's fascinating scientists. It's extremely dense. The imprint of a tree from long before dinosaurs, buried for 350 million years. We knew it was new for our area, but what we didn't realize was it's new for not only New Brunswick, but also the world. A discovery made near Norton, New Brunswick, as researchers were looking for animal tracks, but instead stumbled across an extinct species, seemingly drawn up in Dr. Seuss's imagination. But the plants that lived 350 million years ago, again, looked more like something out of a Dr. Seuss book. So this thing really looks like a giant pom-pom. Uh, this tree would only stand about three meters tall. It has a very narrow stem, about 15 centimeters wide. And the branches, or more appropriately, the leaves, spiral up the stem. Rare for its age, but also its form. Fossils are usually fragmented. A piece of the story, but this is the whole puzzle. And that's what's so incredible about this. You've got a trunk, you've got the laterals, what we call the branches, they're not technically branches, but we've got the laterals and we've got the leaves. The tree is described as a failed experiment of evolution. We don't see it in older rocks, we don't see it in younger rocks. It was only around for a very short time. It's named after the quarry's owner, Laurie Sanford. Still, if this was a Dr. Seuss story, rhyming may be a challenge. Sanfordia collis densifolia. Yes, it is definitely a tongue twister. How it was preserved, geologists say the area was once a giant lake. Evidence suggests an earthquake sent the tree to the bottom. The chance of something being preserved like this and then being found. <laughs> yes, the odds are, are pretty astounding. Which is why there's so much interest in a rock that's gone unnoticed for 350 million years. Sarah Plowman, CTV News, St. John.